So we see that it's a different ball game in 2021 and 2020, 2019, it's never been different. A lot of things happen. But what remains so constant is the fact that technology is at the center of it all, helping us to overcome all of these challenges. And one of the challenges we've identified at this moment is around the area of security. A lot of us want to have the very best of security. Yes, government is doing the best they can, but there's a lot more we can do to ensure that we meet somewhere with the government and the private sector when we play our own roles appropriately. And that is what we are focusing on today. How do we make technology help us secure our lives, our environment and our property better? That is what we're talking about today, smart security. So stay with me, I'll be right back for details. The program is still Tech Bridge on Lagos Television and uh, I told you earlier before that break that we'll be talking about smart security solutions and uh, I'm not going to do all the talking alone. I've got an expert in the house who's going to do justice to that topic. Dayo Akito is a smart security expert, a smart home security expert and lots more and he's, going to, he's connecting with us on Tech Bridge today. Dayo, thanks so much for connecting on Tech Bridge. It's an honor to be here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, um, Shay, for me. All right. It's, it's a pleasure to have you here too. So now we talk about security and we know that uh, over the years people have been so concerned about their security, how they can be well secured. Now we are talking about uh, smart security. So let's speak it from this place. What makes a security solution smart? Okay, um, if you're talking about smart security, we're talking about, um, uh, let me first, before I enter into the smart aspect of it, let me first look at the security um, solution aspect of it. They are just devices that we install to cover a particular location, to make sure um, uh, the going in and the going out in that particular location is being monitored by the owners of the property or people who are in charge of the property. Yeah. So now, when we now take a talk of smart security solution, we are talking of um, these particular devices being able to link, being able to connect to other devices. They are interactive. They are people, um, more like, um, how do I put it now? Uh, people, human, human computer interaction, sort of. And they are like um, things that think, let me use that word, things that think, sort of, because they can perform some autonomous functions. Um, when you make them smart, they can perform some autonomous functions like uh, sending an email to someone who, uh, to the owner or to the one, the person that is in charge of that particular location that something is about to happen or something is happening in this particular location. So those security devices are actually very, very smart, even uh, to the point that we don't even expect them to be. You get so they are actually very, very smart because they do some things that we have been that have been programmed into them to do. Of course, we know that things can't think, but they are things that have been programmed. We might have been programmed them to be able to think in a particular way, to be able to do some autonomous functions. And that's what makes it a smart security solution. So that's the best about it. All right, all right. So, but uh, I want to see uh, the difference between the solutions we used to have in the olden days and uh, the security solutions we have now in terms of size and human involvement and the rest of it. So let's do a comparison. How do you do that? Then, for instance, let me use CCTV for instance as an example. Then, when you install a CCTV device, a CCTV solution in a particular location, and um, you need to be there to monitor everything that is happening as human. You need to be there to see okay who is coming in and who is going out, probably in a particular location, maybe in your house or somewhere. But now, you can set, you can configure it in a particular kind of way that. Uh, when it's noticed someone coming in, it can give you a buzzer or an alarm that, okay, somebody is in that particular location. For instance, um, in, in the finance office, for instance, let's use the office for instance, and people resume at that particular location, say like 8 o'clock, and then they close around, um, around, let's say 4, for instance. So, 
we can configure the device in a way that anything after four any uh, signal it picks at that particular moment is going to send the boozer an alarm to the person that installed it to the engineers or the owners of the location but initially it wasn't like that people have to be on ground to see what is going on if someone comes in you have to go okay, who is the person this and this you'll be able to call the person and all but right now it's going to send you the, the notification that someone is in this particular location at this unwanted hour you get this unwanted person is in this particular location at this hour that we don't expect them to be that's what makes them smart and another thing is um then um when we install cctv cameras for instance i'm still using the uh, the case of cctv when we install those cameras we use cds you put cd in the particular in a dvr and then once it records probably for a, a space of one month and once it's finished recording and the space is full you need to remove the cd by yourself and then put another cd yeah so you have a pile of cds in in, in locations but now they are now smarter we have hard drive installed in those devices so once it's full you can set it to overwrite for instance you it's, it's supposed to carry a space of um let's say one month or two months after the two month elapses it overrides automatically and then start afresh then the one that overrides you can also configure it in a way that you can save it on cloud so you don't lose anything you don't lose anything everything is intact everything is safe so those are the smart uh, those are the, uh, some of the differences between what used to be and what is now then the area of running cables and um uh, for those devices because um then we we'll have to run long cables but now we have some um communication protocols like wi-fi like um zigbee like um uh, Li-Fi and so many other communication protocol like 5G and all and the likes so we have them right now and it makes those things easier to install so you don't need to run long cables and hours and people to maintain it just put it in a particular device connect it to the Wi-Fi and then it's working so that's what, what makes it smart and that's different those are the little differences we have between then and now and they are very very interesting okay now let's bring it home when we talk about all these solutions that are smart really what are our options at home and at uh, our business premises? Okay, now we have several options. There is this, um, uh, uh, for us, if you want it to be a smart home, if you want your home to be a smart home, like from start to finish, it's going to be like from the gates, from the gates of your house, you can have a video doorbell. A video doorbell that once you press the bell, or just like our normal uh, doorbell that you press and then you start making noise inside the house you get but now this time around we have it as a uh, as a wireless system a smart system once you press it whether you are in the house or you're not in the house it gives you a call on your phone more like a normal ringing ring, um, more like no, the normal um, um like when you're having a call coming in to your phone exactly so when you have a call coming into your phone it gives you the ring of your phone then you pick it once you pick it you see the person so you can communicate with the person in real time the person can hear you but can't see you but you can see the person it's a two-way audio but a one-way video the person you can see the person but he can't see you but the audio is two-way you can both hear each other you get so that is from the um, entrance of the house then we have the smart lock come to the house you have a smart lock where you can um, um, if the house is locked of course your house will be locked whether you are at home or you are not at home or let's let's take the case of when you are not around this time around so if the house is locked the person gets to the door of your house you open the door you you you, you the person sound the uh, doorbell you open the gates for the person the person comes in at the door of your house you, you it calls you you kind of send him an otp a sort of otp or um uh, a pin for him to just enter okay this pin is so 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 let's just say one two three four five six and he enters the pin he goes into your house now he's inside your house he can't come out from that house and then go in with that same pin no it's cancelled that pin only elapses just our, like our normal otp that we use in banks exactly exactly few seconds few minutes and all so you enter and all so you have the video doorbell you uh you have the video doorbell you have the smart lock you press uh you send the person um the otp he enters this the door opens for him and then comes in and then uh, he does whatever he wants to do or 
whether you are even in the house it comes in so you have to get down from probably if you are staying in a duplex you don't have to come down from upstairs to come and open the door for the person you get so you just the person just comes in and once it comes in how do i put it now you have alarm exactly an alarm um motion detector exactly let me use the motion detector that's the name for it so you have a motion detector that is installed close to your door now as he is coming in the motion detector kicks him so if you are not around and you didn't give anybody let's say you are able to pass the video doorbell let's just assume you're able to pass the video doorbell you're able to pass the smart lock and all obviously you'll be able to pass the uh, motion detector because once you get in it put exactly sends the buzzer that okay somebody's in your house so it's a motion detector then of course we have the cctv camera the smart cameras are in a particular location so once your motion detector sounds you see it on your phone also once it sounds the camera picks up immediately so it's they are kind of integrated together so once the uh, the motion detector sounds the camera picks up and then sees whoever is in the particular location then that's that we have the motion detector we have the camera i just mentioned the camera now then um there are some other devices too like um um smoke detector yeah smoke detector too if there is a fire or something about to happen that has to do with fire it quickly gives you an alarm then we have gas leak exactly gas leak detector um in the kitchen majorly when you have your gas probably out of um uh, maybe for, uh, you kind of forget to put off your gas or something it will definitely send you an alarm that there is the gas is still on so you need to go back and put on it off you get so there are so many there are so many range of options to have virtually everything then oh i forgot one you have a smart plug yes yeah, smart plug you plug that to the wall and then you probably connect your tv your fan your ac everything you connect it on it so you can always on your ac from your phone you can always on and off exactly your tv also probably you're not around you forgot to off your turn off your tv at home you can just pick up your phone and then go through it and then you put off your tv from the house from probably your office or wherever you are all these things they uh they they are working together they they operate under something we call internet of things so you can co you combine it it works on internet right majorly then you combine all those uh, solutions together they integrate them together under a particular software and then you can able you are able to have them on your phone so those are the options we have lots of options interesting options really? even the ones we've not even explored <laughs> really, really. the <laughs> options of... are interesting they are mouth watering they are catchy yes. but my next question is how pocket friendly are they okay now for pocket friendly mm. they are actually very pocket friendly mm. you know that's a relative word really <laughs> <laughs> exactly the relative word okay now uh when we talk of pocket friendly for instance let me start with the um, smart plug you can have it as um, as low as from 5k to 7000 naira, 5000 naira to 7000 naira for the smart plug very cheap then we have the smart bulb i didn't mention the smart bulb too the smart bulb you can uh, once you install the smart bulb you can control the bulb from your phone the ambience of the room you can change the color maybe the blue red yellow white whatever color you want you can always change it from your phone so you can have the smart bulb um, as low as six thousand seven thousand eight thousand that's within that range so that and they are very durable then the video doorbell you can have them from the range of say like thirty five thousand naira to forty thousand naira so they are just very um they are within that range and then we have um the motion detector exactly motion detector from the range of say thirty five thousand naira from thirty to thirty five thousand naira so those are just the options um, uh, we have and they are actually very pocket friendly. Yes, compared I, to the benefits we, we get from them. Yeah, yeah compared, exactly. Compared to the job, the benefit you get from them. Imagine you not being at home and then somebody comes to your house and you're able to see the person from wherever you are. It doesn't matter whether you're in Nigeria or in US or in Canada, anywhere you are in the world. Once it's installed in your house and there is a running internet in your house, of course, because they run on internet of things. So, and there's a running internet in your house, you can see anything that's happening so it doesn't matter uh location or time uh, location is not a barrier okay all right so now let's pick it from this uh you've been doing this for a while now and uh how do you rate the acceptability among nigerians you know we are always uh, skeptical when it comes yeah, to deploying exactly. new technology yeah, accepting right. it exactly. so but from how do you rate it among nigerians okay the acceptability is um i would say it's on a gradual increase of course people are people can be rigid to change sometimes can be see when it comes to changing things sometimes 
because we are very used to our normal carry <laughs> analog <laughs> things exactly and now we know we are doing things we carry our key open the door do everything you get so but gradually gradually with um technology keeps moving it keeps evolving there are things that keeps coming um coming out almost virtual um every almost every month every year industries keep on changing and things keep on happening new things keep on happening so now in nigeria there has been like i said on a gradual increase on a gradual increase people are beginning to know for instance the smart plug we are getting a lot of um there are a lot of uh, people who are getting to tap into that idea because people the stress in Lagos. Let me just let me use Lagos for example. <laughs> Can make you forget to turn off your TV. <laughs> you get and you are rushing out the following morning. So you are rushing out the following morning. It's very possible you you forget to turn, turn off your TV, your AC, your fan. You get so. But if you have these devices in place, you can always do them from your phone. So people are beginning to see the ease, the ease of doing things that this thing brings. So. The accept acceptability is on um, on a gradual increase, and it's been it's been lovely. All right, so let me pick this one away from our uh, smart security solutions, and uh, you belong to the tech space, and we've seen what happened in 2020 from 2019, the COVID-19, and some other developments. So, if you must expect anything in 2021 in the tech space, what would be your expectations? Okay, in the tech space for 2021. I would expect a lot of cloud um, cloud solutions. Like um, uh, we expect people to want to do things easy. You no, know, the environment is a bit tense. Coronavirus, you can't go out, wear your face mask, do this, wash your hand, and everything. So people are trying to be cautious of where they go and the places they visit. So I expect um, a lot of um, cloud solutions, smart solutions like we are talking about now. And of course, we know police to uh, citizen ratio in Nigeria is, on, is very low. You get, so that is so th uh, that is also another option, another another uh, factor to consider. People should begin to look at um, how they can secure themselves with the least amount of money they have, how they can make their family more comfortable. Because if you have these gadgets in place, you can easily see what's happening in your house. You can, you'll be like two steps ahead. Because before someone can come into your house, you've been able to monitor all the movement from the gate to entering the house. So I expect people to go more into these smart security solutions, to be able to uh, take up their security by themselves, to be able to take responsibility for securing themselves. There's nothing stopping me from um, installing a device in my house. And when somebody wants to boggle my house, I can easily call the police and say, somebody is in my house. So, so, exactly. So it's, a, it's more like an edge up for the police trying to give them information on what is about to happen in my house and it makes things easier for them and for us too so we are happy the police is happy but the person that wants to want to buckle your ass is not happy yeah all right dial thanks so very much for talking to us sharing your experience educating us enlightening us on today's episode of tech bridge we hope to talk to you some other time it's a passion like i said it's interesting to see to be able to help people do things uh to be able to help people secure their homes and all so thank you so much for having me it's an honor all right so it's still tech bridge on lagos television please stay with us Well, 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 it's been an amazing episode with uh, Dayo Akinton today on Tech Bridge. He spoke about a lot of options when it comes to smart security solutions. And uh, if you ask me, that is the way to go. He gave a piece of advice, and I think everybody should pick that. Now is the time for every one of us to start taking responsibility for our security. Yes, the government is trying the best they can, but we have a lot more to do. We can work with the government, with security agencies to ensure that we have a very good safety around us. So if you ask me, that is the way to go. That is our show today on today's episode of Tech Bridge. Many thanks for connecting with us. Remember that you can connect with Tech Bridge on Facebook. We are Tech Bridge LTV. And of course on YouTube, we are Tech Bridge LTV as well. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can have the prompt of this fresh episode as we upload and all other previous episodes. So to some other time, I am sure you from your lot today. Keep innovating, keep achieving more, and keep leveraging on technology. Bye for now.